Hello, I'm Mike, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a variable product in WooCommerce. Adding product variations in WooCommerce is simple and doesn't require a lot of technical know-how. But if you're new to the e-commerce platform, it's normal to be a bit disoriented navigating your options. So in this video, we'll be covering what variable products are, the differences between variables and attributes, and how to create a WooCommerce variable product. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, what is a WooCommerce variable product? A WooCommerce variable product can be easily defined as a product available in several different types, styles, or variations. Examples of variations include things like color, size, style, and materials. This is not quite the same as a product filter in WooCommerce. Even when you filter products, you still need to select variables. When a customer visits a product page with variables, they'll need to make a selection of some sort before adding the item to their cart. Many types of stores and businesses make use of variable products. The good news is that WooCommerce can create variable products built in, and it's not that difficult to configure. But before we jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do so, we need to first make an essential distinction between variations and attributes. The most significant distinction between variations and attributes within WooCommerce is that variations can be interacted with by the customer while attributes cannot. First of all, attributes are what define variations. These are the different stylings such as color, pattern, etc. You can also sort by these attributes within WooCommerce, but they are simply informational and don't come with any functionality. Attributes are also used to define the features of a specific product. A product page for a purse may list the dimensions, the fabric used, and the handle's material as attributes. These are stated facts about the product, its attributes, and the customer can't make selections based on these attributes. On the other hand, variations put the attributes to use through variable products and allow users to purchase items of a certain attribute. Variations also cover different combinations of these attributes, which can create separate product options. For example, suppose you have color and logo attributes for a product. In that case, these can be combined into different variations. For example, a hat with a blue dolphin logo, or a hat with a green logo of a salamander, and so forth. The point here is that a customer can select variations before checkout as part of the conversion process, while attributes cannot. However, it would help if you had attributes established before setting up any variations. But before you run to the hills out of sheer confusion, don't worry, the process is pretty straightforward. Your first order of business here is to create some product attributes. You can go to products and then attributes in the WordPress dashboard. In this section, you can create a new attribute for your online store. When it's first installed, a default attribute of color is added to WooCommerce. We've added an additional attribute here of size. Simply type in the name of the attribute, an associated slug, and then click the blue add attribute button when you're all finished. From here, you can click on the link that reads configure terms next to the attribute you've just created. In this section, you can add as many terms to associate with your new attribute. For size, we've added the term medium. This follows the same process as when adding attributes. Simply type in the name, a slug, and a description if you'd like. When you're done making changes, press the blue add new size button. We've added additional terms for the color attribute as well. You can see green shown here. You can add as many attributes and associated terms for each that you'd like in WooCommerce in this fashion. Which attributes and terms, as well as how many of each you add, will be dependent on the type of store you run and the types of products you sell. The next order of business is to create a product page where your attributes can be applied. To do this, you need to go to products and then add new. Give your product a name and description, add any images you'd like, and otherwise edit however you see fit. Then scroll down to the product data section. At the top, click the drop down menu and select variable product. Next, you can fill in all the relevant details under the general tab, such as pricing. With your product set to be a variable product, you can now add the attributes you created earlier to it. Click on the attributes tab and select one of the attributes you made. Then click the add button. A section called value will appear, under which you'll see all the terms you assigned to this attribute earlier. Select whichever terms apply to this particular product or click select all if that applies and is easier. 
Ensure you have the checkbox next to visible on the product page checked if you want these attributes to be available for your customers to select. And if you wish to create variations out of these attributes, check the box next to use for variations as well. Finish up this section by clicking on save attributes. Your last order of business here is to add the variations themselves to your product page. Click the variations tab. In this section, you should see a drop down that says add variation. Click the button next to it that says go. A new drop down menu will then appear when you can select the attributes that apply to this particular product. Select as many as apply to the product. Under each variation, you can adjust settings as well, like setting prices for each variation, a sale price, SKU number, stock status, weight, and dimensions. Only the price is required, however. When you're all done making changes to your variation, click the blue Save Changes button. You can then repeat the process for any other variations you'd like to create. And there you have it. Creating variable products in WooCommerce isn't all that daunting now, is it? If you need more tips on boosting WooCommerce sales, we have a complete guide for that, which you can find in the description below. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200% and you'll get 24 seven support from our expert WordPress engineers. We offer two months free with any annual plan, a 30 day money back guarantee and unlimited free basic migrations from any host. Head over to kinsta.com slash plans to get started. And thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers and helpful content like this.